Did you guys set me up? Listen, I'm sorry if I came across that way. I Stupid. Now the next question. Okay, again, don't I'm, swear on your yeah, children. It's, it's weak. I, don't do that. It's not weak. It's weak. It's, it's weak. Just look at me face to face and have a Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? My family, my child was called and, and threatened at work. Okay. Actually, I could look right in his eyes and I could look right in your eyes. You do it good. You're a devil. You're a devil. I'm a devil. You're disgusting. What's up, y'all? It's Brian Keith, and I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Real Housewives of New Jersey, the reunion part two, and y'all, it's going to be a doozy. I honestly don't see how Teresa, Melissa, Joe, Louie are going to move forward. I feel like there's too much damage that has been done, and I just don't see how they're going to move forward. Like, I know if it was me, y'all saying some, some stuff that made me want to probably get up and throw them hands. <laughs> but y'all... Like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Let me check my check my shit real quick. Hotter than the fire, come out of my flame. And if you wanna play with me, you can't play in me. On the playground, bitch, you can't play with me. Got it, one and securing the bag. Alright, so basically we end up where we left off. <laughs> Teresa over here, she basically accused Melissa and Joe for putting her in jail. I'm just like, girl, be serious, right? But she elaborates because Andy's like gagged. Melissa's like, oh yeah, yeah. So she basically, she was like, okay, what the real reason was, she been she was hanging out with the guy that put Joe and us in jail. That they are responsible I'm for you going to jail. I'm not saying they're responsible. They hung out with people no, that we were didn't. responsible for that happening to okay. me. No, and we that's didn't. It. But if they were doing the right thing, you wouldn't have been in jail in the first place. So regardless of who did what, who snitched on who, if it was Melissa, if it was on Caroline Manzo, you still did what you did to end up in jail. So regardless of the fact, it's that's irrelevant, right? So Melissa's confused and she's just like, you know, at the end of the day, I don't believe it, I don't believe it. And you know, Andy asked Dolores, like, what do you think about this? And Dolores says, you know, um, it's hard to believe. I don't think a brother would do that to a sister, this and the third. Dolores' reaction to this allegation is. It's hard to believe. Like, I mean, I, I just can't fathom well, well, You think we were hanging out with an ex-partner? Believes it. She low-key believes it because they, they bring up the whole Jacqueline Lorita situation. And, you know, Melissa, she reads this text message. She's like, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, Jacqueline was talking about you to Jackie a year ago before y'all got cool. Botox so fillers, this new boobs. So she's petty, still guys. so ugly and she thinks she's 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 train Sleep with one eye she open. Yeah. Get it. This is oh, bad for you, not Melissa. Not you're going down. Sleep. And Melissa, to be honest, that's irrelevant, too. I don't care about no text message that was from a year ago. If it was, t t if it was the day before the reunion, cool girl, she got you. <laughs> you got one, but that wasn't the case. It was a year ago, a text message that you saved to Goop Teresa. I mean, it was irrelevant. That really didn't prove shit. And you know, <laughs> we get on the whole nose job, nose job diss. And Jen says, you know, at the end of it, it was a bonding moment. And you know. S spun around a conversation that I thought, like you, was coffee talk. She was like, what was all that with you and Dolores? I didn't say that. Okay, this is how I remember it. Jen was like, basically like, Rachel took information about the whole Dolores situation with me and she spun it. But Jen, like, you have to realize that you was beefing with Dolores. You called her because you said that she didn't look at the show last year because that's what Rachel said she didn't look at the show. So you wanted to get, fill her in on the history. But then you call her Bravo123 and basically make it seem like she's like this Bravo lover. At the end of the day, New Jersey has been around for 13 seasons. Now, if this was like Dubai, Salt Lake, something that was really fresh, then I can see you saying that she, she didn't watch the season or this and the third. But you, there's no possible way. We Everybody knows who Teresa is, what the new um, Jersey Housewives are. So there's no situation where you're just like, oh my God, she just didn't know. That was just dumb. Um, so, you know, in the battles of nose jobs, at the end of the day, Rachel won because her nose job looked good. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jan. <laughs> the adoption process. We have completed the adoption. is finalized. Oh, congratulations. Yes, thank That's you great. so much. We get on the whole adoption thing, and, you know, Rachel drops this tea out of the clear blue sky. Aiden's birth mother spoke to some blogs, and basically, she was contacted by Louis. <laughs> and Teresa's like, what? What? Do you know that face she made? I had more information because allegedly she was contacted because of Louie. And that was the information that I was what? told. And it's like, oh my God, <laughs> how do you know this information? She was like, I know this information because it was from a close friend that told me, a close friend. At the end of the day, Rachel, I don't, 
I'm not saying I don't believe it or not, but if there's no name, I don't care. If you're not gonna put a name on it, it's irrelevant. I don't see why y'all keep dropping these heavy, heavy things. Now, what Margaret did at the end of the episode, I can believe that she had proof, even if it was made up. Girl, she had some type of proof that was trying to combat it. At least give you a self fighting chance. Check her down. How did you find out that it was? Louis's team that had tracked I down. was told this by somebody very close to me. But y'all saying like, oh my God, this person did something to me so egregious. Okay, so what's the proof? Let me see it. I'm not gonna say who it was, but it was a close friend. Girl, that don't do, that don't do nothing for me. I don't know this person. I don't know their credibility. That does nothing for me. So, you know, Melissa and Teresa, they're clashing yet again over Margaret and how, you know, in the first episode, Mar um, Teresa and Margaret made amends, apologized, what you want to call it. And um, Melissa's like, you know, at the end of the day, all that you did was just fake. If Teresa felt like she was over here being attacked all last year, then she want to get her lit back. Like, th this is something I'm personally working on is I'm very much an eye for an eye type of person. I am cool. I'm chill. You don't bother me. I won't bother you because I'm already in my own la-la land, living my best fucking life. So once you bother me and pull me out of that energy, now I'm getting you back. I'm getting my lick back, lick back because we're not about to do that. I've been minding my business, right? Investigators. I don't have, I would yeah, never I don't hire a private investigator. To. You don't have the money to. So he has the money to hire people to hurt yeah. us. Argus is just like, at the end of the day, you're over here hiring private investigators, doing all of this. And... What Margaret had to realize is it's regardless of a private investigator or a freaking Amazon bird time, regardless of that, you're still taking information from another source and holding it, storing it, spreading it. You're still taking the information. So regardless of what, you know, what Louis did, I'm not saying this right because it's definitely petty and wrong. But, Margaret, you still did something similar. You took information from someone, even if it came for you or you sought it. You still took information and you did what you had to do with it. I'm not saying what is wrong. If you wanted to get back at Jen because she gooped and gagged you, cool, girl. I, like I said, I for not. I got it. But don't sit up here and try to make it seem like, oh, my God, I can't believe he'll get dirt on me. What's in your closet that you're so scared to come out? So Jackie and Jenef come out and Jenef, um, you know, she has a glow up. She got her nose done, chin done, facelift, hair done, shoulders done, her knees. They could do that. Um, so she got all that done. She looks really good. I actually like Jim Fessler. I thought she was a, uh, a lot of comic relief. Cool girl. Um, and then they talked to um, Jackie about being a friend. She was like, yeah, you know, it was a tough pill to swallow, but you know, it was the best thing for me because I wrote a book. And, you know, Andy then throws shade towards Dolores' way. He was like, so what do you think about Dolores being on Xampic? <laughs> I was like, that ain't got nothing to do with nothing, but whatever. So she was just basically saying, like, you know, it works for people to lose weight, but once you're off Xampic, your weight will come back rapidly. And a lot of people can't handle that because they're just like, how do I, you know, get keep this weight off? And it develops a, you know, it could develop a, you know, serious weight loss or eating disorder. So, yeah. Um, and we get on the whole Arsenal combo and, you know, Margaret gets up there and basically she talks about, um, Margaret talks about, um, the death of her ex and, you know, how she's helping her stepkids. And I think that's a amazing things. I don't have that great, um, relationship with any of my step parents. I've had a total of four, th four step parents. Um, the last two currently I have no issues with. So now this whole Laura girl. If we hear about her next season, throw it away. I'm done. Or bring her on the show, because I'm over it. <laughs> Laura, you did what you had to do. She Laura is the ghost housewife, right? <laughs> Margaret tries to get um try to get her on the show, the Senate third. The way to get on the show is to cause drama. So she contacted Jennifer and Teresa to go no, over there. You tried to get on the show too. I did. She I just said, said that. that. Oh. Andy asked Jen, like, why did he did she meet with her like before the season? Like what was going on? And Jen was like, at the end of the day, I she said, while we were filming this season, last season was airing i saw all the stuff so i was pissed off seeing all that so i want to get my lip back i respect the honesty because it's just honest like you did this to me i'm gonna have to sit in it and watch it you think i'm just about to be over here lay down and just like roll over no i'm gonna get you back um so we find out that jennifer told the rumor now this situation i just feel like danielle we tried to tell you this whole time but you know girl <laughs> so we find out that jennifer already told melissa the rumor um, from Laura, right? And Andy asked Jen, okay, so why were you in Danielle's face 
at the end of the season at that party to my no don't tell her no, don't tell her. I'm going to tell Melissa. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. I would want somebody to try so like it was because some secret. Like it was a big secret when you had already told her. And then you told her anyway at the, um, in Ireland, like, girl, this happened, this, but don't say nothing. So why did you do all that? Because you knew it was going to put a battery on her back. And low-key, I do hope that Danielle goes after Jen next season because girl she made you look dumb you look you were literally a puppet on a string for Teresa and Jen and you look dumb and I hate to say that because I actually do like you Danielle I really do but you you look like you look like a puppet I'm sorry so Andy asked Danielle like how do you feel about being set up everyone's telling her like you've been manipulated they over here played you in your face they gooped and gagged you well, well, I, 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 all that well, did you guys set me up Listen, I'm sorry if it came across that way. I did not realize. Oh, girl, girl, girl. Oh, girl. This girl Stop. is delusional. What Danielle said was, she was like, did y'all set me up? Jen's talking about, I mean, I'm so sorry if it seems that way, but that's not what it is. Girl, at the end of the day, cut the crap. Like, how dare you sit in this girl face and then want to sit up here and give some last lackadaisical, oh, that's not what it seemed, that's not what it seemed. But you wanted her to do your dirty work. Just, just be honest. Like, you've been honest remotely honest in these some, some of these situations because there's something she lied about i think but i'm just like how you gonna sit up here and then just like give her like oh, if that's what it seems i'm so sorry no 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 no. did you set her up yes or no that's it yes or no but you know danielle stupidly in my opinion she's like i don't feel set up i don't feel set up because she did tell me the information but i acted upon it, it was just put in my lap, okay? so it was up to me to do what i felt like i needed to do with it i don't feel set up okay. i don't I are you crazy? So I can give Daniel some type of credit for, you know, taking accountability for going out and seeking to talk to Melissa. But like I said, stupidly, you don't see that you've been set up. <laughs> so Melissa and Teresa, you know, yet again clash um, because Melissa feels that, you know, Teresa started the whole thing. She's like, you know, you invited my you invited my husband to your house just to talk about me, call and say I'm cheating on my husband. Da, 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 da. My whole thing is this. We know that Louis called Joe. Teresa said that she didn't want him to call. We don't know if that's true or not, blah, blah, blah. But Melissa, you got to realize that if Louis called Joe, then Louis called Joe. You can't say Teresa called Joe. When Teresa said she didn't call, Louis said she didn't call, and your husband said that Louis called him. So you can't just blame Teresa on that situation. I get it, you don't like her, cool, cool, cool. But you can't blame her when all three of them in the situation said that Louie was the one to call. Now, let's say, Teresa might put, up, put him up to her like, look, call him and get this shit started. <laughs> she could have said that, but I'm just saying that's what they said. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa is like, oh, I swear on my kids. I swear on my kids that I did not do that. And Melissa's like, girl, don't swear on your kids. It's weak. <laughs> Question. Okay, again, don't I'm, swear on your yeah, children. It's, it's weak. I, don't do that. It's not weak. It's weak. It's not it's weak. weak. Just look at me face to face and have a Can conversation. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? She said, it's weak. It's weak. Don't swear on your kids. Andy gets mad, start yelling. And you know, he's been doing that a lot. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Weak. Hold no, on. Hold on. Weak. Hold on. Not, you're weak. Stop. Week. If you, week. Oh God! I a lot of people have been going at Andy because of the way that he gets so mad. Like he did it at Larsa, he did it at Kim Zolciak, he did it at Lisa Rinna. Like he gets like loud and you know, very like angry. Um, I don't really. It, I just feel like he does it for like you know the trailer for the reunion. It's just more of like a uh, oh he gets angry. But I mean at some point. Andy, if you're supposed to be the moderator, then you should be able to moderate and mitigate the situation. And if you can't do that, maybe somebody else should do it. Just a thought, Andy. I still love you, though. Day, like I said before, Andy was over here mad, hooping and hollering. But I'm trying to figure out, like, what did he expect them to do? Like, they don't like each other at all. They made it clear on part one that they, they're not seeing for each other. After this is done, like, I feel like sometimes Andy thinks that they're supposed to give, like, you know, spiritual hymns, kisses, and a bubble baths. It's not gonna happen, <laughs> right? We get on the whole bitch boy thing because Teresa's like, you know what? At the end of the day, if you want to talk to somebody, talk to Louie. Talk to Louie. And it looks like, oh, we're going to talk to Louie. I guess we got a new bitch boy. I'm like, oh, child. But at the end of the day, like, do I feel like Louie want to be on camera and be on TV? Hell yes. 
But do I feel like Joe lives for that red light? Melissa, yes. You you can't deny that your brother, he gives for the camera. He gives. He is a dramatic drama queen. <laughs> so then we segue over to the men in the back. And, you know, Frank is basically telling um, everybody that, you know, Louis basically got rid of his company. And his son, little Frankie, was working at the company. And he basically got laid off. No notice, no nothing. He was kind of call Louis, no return. So Frank's just like, yeah, I got something to say to Louis because you're not going to do it to my son. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't feel no type of way about it. Frank, I'm like, do what you got to do because, I mean, that's your kid. So, I mean, go for him, right? Andy then brings up the whole fake um, psychic coffee reading situation that was a whole stunt and set up by Todd for the bullshit. <laughs> we all knew it was kind of fake. Like, when she brought up the whole um, advertisements, we was like, okay. Yeah, Jen, you really, you really try that one. And then, you know, Jen threw a little bit of shade at Melissa. Melissa's like, damn. So it's just going to be run the truck over me day, right? With them. She was telling me Melissa never came to visit. No, no, I don't like so she Oh, my God. God. I mean, it's, it's just like, just like and then I was just like, listen. with a truck day. We get on Jen's marriage. And, you know, Jen's talking. Andy's like, okay, how's your marriage? She's like, our marriage is great. It's fine. It's never been better. Oh, my gosh. We've learned. And even I'm in the boat house, the um, the guest house as well. It's just I've been a, the pool house, the pool house, and it's been so amazing. It's been great. Oh my god, it's great. I'm just like, maybe they saw each other on TV, and maybe that's what it was. But something makes me think that she was lying this whole time. You was lying, and you set up the whole situation with the psychic reader. You over here plotted the whole situation with Danielle behind her back child you over here set up the whole situation with laurel and now the marriage is magically fixed if i was a producer i'll be looking like okay you know what we really need to start digging into her storyline and her situation because you know in the beginning beginning of each season they do their roundup like hey what do you have going on this year that's what they do so I asked Jen, like, what do you got going on? She was like, oh, well, you know, my brother's not doing well. Let, let's go talk to the brother. Because <laughs> you might be lying. <laughs> I gotta say, that one therapy session did wonders for both of us. Things have been so great between us that I'm just, like, not going to push it. And he explained the pool house to me. He said but Jen, she basically switches over to, like, well, you know, my daughter, now she wants to be a love doctor. She used to want to be on Broadway, but now she wants to be a love doctor because you, Margaret, brought it up. And at the end of the day, Margaret, you got a real... At the end of the day, Jennifer, you have to realize that you have to take responsibility or Bill needs to take responsibility of his household. You can't blame Margaret just because she gagged you and stuff. That's irrelevant. She's living in your house and that's something that you should have talked to her about. You should have brought that up and said, hey, this has happened. We're going to talk to you about it. Boo, 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 boo. She'll be a great Broadway Epic. star. All of a sudden, Jennifer, a love therapist, you, she learned let me about tell you something. You talk too much she in front of her. She learned about it on a TikTok. And that's my I opinion. Know. And you can't get mad at Margaret for bringing up something that Bill actually did. If you didn't want this to come up, maybe Bill should have kept his salami to himself and to you. I'm just saying, right? Respectfully. We get on Teresa and Margaret on um, paper thin re relationship, right? So Andy asks um, both of the ladies like, okay, so you know, after the season wrap, y'all have been throwing shots at the at each other. Like what's going on? I thought everything was cool. And Teresa was like, yeah, I mean, she been talking junk. And Margaret's like, I was cool with you. But once I found out all the stuff that would happen on the finale, that was too much for me. When I heard him talking about, he has stuff on me from Bodito. And my whole thing is, Margaret, so were you not at the finale? Did Jackie not tell you what Louis said? So that means, so it took you for the finale to realize that, oh my gosh, woo, Bodie, you got something on me. Like it took that much for, for, for you to figure it out. That's why I'm just like, I'm so confused. At the end of, like I said before, everyone seems so scared. Like, oh my God, Bodito, Bodito got something on me. Oh my God, Louis, I'm gonna get you. You got, you got to file on me. Like Rachel's husband, Frank. And Margaret, what's really going on? Because y'all seem too, 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 too mad that he might have pulled up information on you. And low-key, he could have pulled information on you like how Monique pulled information on the girls in Potomac, but only came after Giselle. <laughs> that could have been the case, but who knows? But, you know, um, Margaret basically comes out. She's like, you know what? At the end of the day, I'm more upset because Louis, <laughs> Louis, called my son and threatened him at work.
my, my family, my child was called and, and threatened at work. Okay? What? By who? By Louie. Yeah. And we have the phone okay. records. Okay. Thre I'm just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. And you know, Margaret brings out the proof. She has like the papers. They get in the whole situation where they've been getting hacked by other housewives and stuff like that. It's irrelevant. Teresa's like, I didn't call Margaret's son. Um, and Margaret's like, yes, you did. Yes, you did. It's a legal thing. Yes, you did. And then Teresa's like, okay, well, do something about it. <laughs> I said, girl, don't say that because you don't want to go back to jail, bitch. Um, so my lord, um, Margaret brings up Dolores. She's like, Dolores, didn't I call you when it happened? And Dolores was like, yeah, you called me. And Teresa's like, okay, so why didn't you call call me and tell me? And Dolores was like, I just don't want to get in it. Like, I don't want to be a part of this. This is too much. And Teresa's like, okay, cool. I got it, friend. I'm like, oof. <laughs> Margaret and Teresa then go into like this nasty, like, you're so vile. You're the devil. You're evil. Oh my God. Doing all this back and forth, right? In his eyes. And I could look you right in your eyes. You do it. Okay. And you're you're the devil. Bullshit. You're a, I, devil. I'm a devil. You're disgusting. You are a criminal. You're and disgusting. So I'm a criminal. And then they cut, and Andy tells him to calm down because he's just getting too crazy. We go back into the room. All the men are getting ready to come out. It's like basically four against four. It is. I don't think it's going to be that bad because I don't think anybody's going to get out of their chair. He breaks. He breaks. I do feel like after seeing the preview for the third part, I do feel like Teresa is done. And it's sad to see a family deteriorate like this because I am close with my sister. Me and my sister, that's like my best friend. I'm going to go see her on Thursday. But it's just sad to see like a, a sibling ship and, um, you know, a relationship between two siblings just deteriorate. And it's sad to see like, you know, Melissa, like, I mean, I don't want to blame Melissa, but I mean, you did in court. Like, everybody has to own their part. That's it. Melissa, Joe, Teresa, Louie, and the other Joe. You just saw that everybody has it on their part. But y'all, that was part two of the Real Housewives of New Jersey reunion. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Put it down in the comments because y'all have been going ham <laughs> in these comments on, on my last New Jersey um, review. So let me know what you guys think. Are you team Teresa? Or are you going to be team Melissa? <laughs> let me know. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.